All right, so we're here with the president of Providence College, Father Shanley. Father, very ex exciting day for Big East, Providence basketball specifically. Talk about how big this is for Providence and Providence College in general. Well, we've gone from a situation where I was genuinely worried about the future of our primary athletic conference to a point right now where I have extreme optimism and confidence uh, about this new Big East. And especially from a basketball point of view, we're going back to our roots. We're going to be a basketball-centric conference, although we're going to play all sports. We're with schools that are like us. We're with schools that are good academic institutions. We're with schools that all play really high-quality basketball going forward. We're in new urban areas. Um, we've got this tremendous Fox television deal. We're going back to the garden. Uh, I couldn't be happier. Yeah. You asked me six months ago that I think I'd be standing here today telling you this is what we've got going forward. I would have said no, and I'm just thrilled. Yeah, absolutely. I know you reference it as you, you feel like you guys really hit a home run here, keeping yeah, Madison Square Garden, getting the lucrative TV deal, as well as keeping the name of the Big East. I think all of those things are, are really important. Do you see this transformation as recreating a new brand, or are you moving forward from the old Big East? Just continuation. Yeah, well, you can't go back to the past. You know, we can't dial it back to 1985 when we had Patrick Ewing and Chris Mullen and they were the toast of basketball. But we can return to the roots of our identity, which is we're a conference that primarily focuses on basketball. And without the distractions of football, it allows us to really kind of go back to what we should be really good at. And, uh, and that's our basketball programs. And I think for Providence College, especially with Ed Cooley, I don't think we'd be here today, I wouldn't be as confident as I am about our future if it weren't for Coach Cooley. And can you speak to anything how he felt about today's announcement? Oh, he's ecstatic. He's ecstatic, you know, because we keep the, you know, all, the, all the obvious reasons. And these coaches are a very cohesive group of people. And, you know, he's happy to be still coaching against Jay Wright and uh, John Thompson III and all the other great coaches in the Big East. And we have vetted all of the other I mean, Brad Stevens down is going to be coaching against Ed, who's thrilled. The Creighton coach is great. The Butler coach is really So Ed's fired up. It's going to be great. That's great. Has there been any discussion yet about keeping relationships with old Big East schools? So can fans expect to be playing UConn in the future, or is that too early to tell at this point? I sure hope so. Um, none of us wants to give up on the schools. It's not like we're walking away from them. Um, I want to keep playing UConn. Georgetown wants to keep playing Syracuse. Uh, so we'd like to keep up traditional rivalries. It just may be hard for us, like next year, to do that because of scheduling reasons. But UConn Providence is one of the great games of the year, as far as I'm concerned. So I, I hope we keep doing those games. And last question: Has, has Mike Trangisi been involved in any of these conversations? I know he's been. Uh, He's been really involved with the Big East throughout history. Has yep. he helped out at all, or do you guys oh, look sure. to use him? Well, I don't know what Mike's role will be going forward, but Mike and Bob talk all the time. I've talked multiple times uh, with Mike. I've talked with John Marinato at times. So I'm, I'll talk to anybody that can help me understand what's going on. Um, I'm not sure Mike, you know, we, we hired Dan Beebe as this consultant for the interim period. So we decided we weren't going to hire an interim commissioner. We felt that... If we hired an interim commissioner, it might make it harder to get a real, not a real, but a, a final commissioner, because mm -hmm. somebody would be perceived as having, be, being already there. So um, we hope that Mike continues to play some kind of a role. We know we will with us, because we rely on Mike for a lot of things. Awesome. Well, congratulations on Thank a big you. day for Providence College, Thanks. Father. My pleasure.